Hello, everybody, and welcome to Pinnacle Entertainment Group's fantastical Twitch channel. I actually, I had worked up a, a good uh, uh, alliteration to begin with, and I made the mistake of not writing it down. So you're just going to get one of the words, and that's fantastical. But with that, it's pretty accurate. Uh, my name is Chris Hussey. I'm going to be the guest uh, GM, or in this case, uh, Marshall tonight, as we are, or today, depending on when you're watching it. Uh, as we are playing a little bit of Deadlands, and as you can see, I have four wonderful players around me, and they're going to introduce themselves here shortly. But uh, yes, as I said, we're going to be playing Deadlands, uh, Deadlands, of course, Weird West, and with that, we're also going to be showcasing a little bit of the Foundry Virtual Tabletop and some of the things that it can do. And we have uh, Amy and her crew backstage who are helping us and they're gonna make us look like we really know what we're doing and it's gonna be wonderful. But this is actually some pretty neat and robust software. Uh, it has been fun to uh, learn this as we've been uh, ramping up to uh, recording this, this adventure for tonight. So, um, but we'll, uh, let's uh, have B stop talking for a little bit and we'll have our players start, start talking. And I'm looking at how on my screen, how they're you're introduced. And so let's start with Alan. Uh, he can go first. Oh, okay. Well, hello. My name is Alan Blunt. I'm part of the uh, video cast, uh, the Unreality Core. And I was invited to play uh, Savage World uh, Deadlands uh, Adventure Edition, the latest, latest version. Uh, I'm very excited. I, Love the book, love everything. I also love people who like bringing their imaginations to life. Uh, the character I'm playing, I'm supposed to introduce that now. You know, you actually would well, go ahead and give the character's name, but as far as like description, we'll save that for when when we get into the the actual adventure. You can describe how they how they look. Okay. Well, uh, what I'm playing Ben uh, F. Uh, I am a chi master. Excellent. Uh, next up is uh, Shannon. Hello, my name is Shannon, and I am part of the Resting Glitch Face podcast, as well as the Gamers Table podcast. Um, you can find all our stuff um, on restingglitchface.com and gamerstable.com. Uh, I am playing uh, Amelia Sawyer. She is a reporter um, from out of town, probably. <laughs> 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 well, definitely, no, you're, you're definitely, you're definitely from out of town. Um, yeah. And uh, next up is Sean. Howdy, I'm uh, Sean Robertson. I am the product line manager for Rifts for Savage Worlds, and uh, happy to be here. Love me some Deadlands and some Foundry. So, and oh, and I'm playing Owen Van Heusen, the hired gun. Nice. Uh, and last, of course, but certainly not least, uh, Jody. Hi, y'all. I'm Jody Black. I'm COO for Pinnacle Entertainment Group, and I am playing June Campbell, which is my witch. All right, great. You know, I didn't even bother to take the take a moment to actually uh, plug my own things here. Uh, you can find stuff that I do. Speaking of Deadlands, and uh, I don't know if this had anything to do with why I'm jamming tonight, but I actually run two Deadlands actual play podcasts. One he is set in the Weird West, uh, called The Adventures of Young and Holt, and the other is called Gun for Hire, which is a noir, Deadlands noir uh, actual play as well. So there, that's me. All right, uh, are you guys ready? Should we like do this? Yeah. Is there anything else I need to, to, uh, to introduce or start before we start and start? Okay, all right, all right. Let's, uh, let's go. So <clears throat> we, uh, we fade up on a desert scene and it happens to be the New Mexico desert somewhere maybe between Santa Fe and, and Roswell we're not exactly sure and it's near dusk the uh the the light is fading you can't see the sun setting though because uh the entire sky is overcast in the distance you can see that storm clouds are approaching, flashes of lightning rip through the clouds. But as the, uh, as the camera begins to tilt down onto uh, our posse that's riding together, here it's only just overcast and the rain is just beginning to start. And this group of four is slowly approaching 
uh, town trying to get there before the heavy rain gets in for the evening. And we come across these, these four individuals and one by one we get to see who they are, what they look like. And we'll start with the person who looks like they most belong riding on a horse across a desert and uh, that would be Owen. What does he look like? So uh, Owen's a tough young man in his early 20s wearing your typical cowboy attire. He's got a Stetson, a vest, some chaps. Um, he exudes the aura of a rattlesnake. So uh, his, languid, his languid demeanor belies a threatening potential. Um, and professionals might recognize the look of a hardened killer in his eyes. Uh, he's carrying a Winchester uh, uh, lever action shotgun with a bayonet on the front. And so some of the, some people might recognize that from some of the close in fighting campaigns uh, during, during the war. And Owen, he, um, so yeah, he was in the war and he was with, he, he was with his own company and, and, and he saw a lot of action, probably has a lot of, uh, a lot of un, unresolved trauma I would imagine as well. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Okay. And uh, since then his, his biggest problem has actually been dealing with, with the world after coming out of such a structured environment. And who is, uh, who's riding next to Owen? I think Amelia would be towards the front. Uh, she's really curious. And so like, she likes to be up front where she can see everything. Um, she has dark brown hair and she, her horse is saddled up with like, everything it looks like she went to uh the the uh what is it sears robard catalog oh, smith and robards smith and robards catalog and just like picked out everything under a section that was like what you need to go west and she just bought it all <laughs> um she's wearing uh She's wearing a, a cowboy hat, obviously, and a duster, obviously. <laughs> um, and she also has a pipe that she smokes. And you said that she also has uh, a camera. Is that is that is is that epitaph? Is her epitaph camera very visible, or is it um, is it like you know tucked safely in a bag of some sort? It or would probably be. It would probably be. be um, like with a strap around her neck because she might have to take a picture while she's going. So, right. Exactly. Okay. Always and, ready. And I don't know if the four of you are riding, you know, four abreast or if you're going in, 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 you know, two by two or whatever, but who, who is nearest then to Amelia at this point? Well, I'm on foot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get okay. horse, can't ride one. <laughs> <laughs> so so not... I, I didn't pay for a horse either. So, <laughs> but when the narrator said I was on a horse, I was like, okay. <laughs> guess what? You have a horse you know, that's, yeah, consider that cons for putting up with me for four hours. You can consider that your own personal gift that you're going to have a horse if you'd like to have a okay. horse. <laughs> okay. Well, if I'm on a horse, not knowing what I'm doing, as you see my hands trying to balance and all of this. <laughs> So you're in the I, second row, I think, and I'll be right I will, Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I would so I can reach out row. and grab your reins real fast. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as she grabs her reins, you see a man uh, of African descent uh, dressed in plain brown linens uh, with, uh, with a straw hat. Looks like an upside down walk. And uh, and a kerchief across his face, or a cloth across his face, to keep out the trail dust. Um, basically, he he seems out of place, uh, but he he is being a little little bit successful in in showing that he's not that panicked on the outside. Excellent, excellent. All right, in. Um, yet, or, I'm or sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna, I was working on I was working on a segue, and then I, I got distracted by my own notes. I was going to ask Ben a question, and then it disappeared from my head. Um, but yeah, no. So that leaves us with one. Yeah. 
So uh, writing next to Ben is uh, Ms. Campbell, as you would call her until you became her friend. But since all three of you have been on the trail long enough with her and seen her without her mask on, you may call her June, but you would know to introduce her as Ms. Campbell because very particular about that account. Uh, as a representative of Black River Railroad, she wears all black. She's riding a black horse, black duster, black hat, black mask, uh, and, you know, black provocative clothing on. And we can leave that up to your imagination, whatever that looks like. But she's not actually showing a heck of a lot of skin. Um, she actually does not have the attractive edge, but just how she presents herself is just a little bit out there um, and uh, edgy enough that it gets people's attention in probably the wrong way, but that's the intent. So uh, one thing that also kind of catches your eye and you just can't help but see it is that even though she looks young, she's in her twenties somewhat, um, but uh, she has fully white hair, just a full head of white hair, white eyebrows, white eyelashes. Something happened in her past to have given her a full head of white hair or maybe some kind of genetic thing, but she doesn't have the red eyes of an albino or anything like that. So uh, you've lit, written with her long enough to know that something happened, something dark and horrible happened in her past that changed her hair from red to white. Okay, uh, so her so her hair is completely white and it's not just the, not the just occasional, streaks. not streaks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, and she's got uh, her whip is on her right hip and her colt uh, is on the left, but in a backwards holster so she can grab it with her right hand. Um, and uh, she's always on the lookout for any new assets for Black River, which okay. makes her kind of a, a little bit of a cautious person. But she's constantly got her eyes moving and roving. And well, for some reason, she finds all of you of interest to Black River. Um, well, okay, and then actually two things. One that reminded me of the question I was going to ask Ben. Ben, did you, does he have any visible gear at all? Uh, the visible gear that he has, he seems to have this strange looking device um, attached to his belt. Uh, it's two sticks uh, being linked by a chain. Um, uh, he doesn't have any finery. Of, uh, <laughs> he doesn't have a backpack. He actually has a sack. That's uh, that's tied onto the back of the horse. As far as wealth, no, he does not exude it whatsoever. <laughs> um, but think of um, I'm I'm moving around without my rickshaw. Okay. Okay. So so envision, envision that. All right. So the group of you. You have been riding together for a few days, but it's not that you're um, close companions, so to speak. Uh, you're more, you've been more thrown together by circumstance. You, along with several other people, were headed out west uh, on a Black River rail line. And at some point in between two towns, the train just flat out broke down uh, and broke down to a point where the engineer realized uh, it wasn't something that they could fix immediately. And on top of that, it was they were going to have to ride back, get the proper parts, bring them back out, make the repairs and go. So it was going to be a several days delay. And as the lot of you were, you know, and this is you amongst the other passengers were discussing, the four of you through various conversations came to realize that none of you really wanted to wait uh, that long, whether you have your own urgent business um, for where you were headed or if that uh, you're just impatient and didn't feel like spending several days here in the middle of nowhere, uh, you decided that uh, you may as well go ahead and travel together uh, and make your way. And some of you did have your own horses, but those who didn't were able to get horses uh, because of June's influence being a Black River representative. Uh, and so that has what has brought you to where you're at right now. And so you're approaching this town and hoping to just, you know, uh, bed your heads down for the night and then continue on the next day. And as you're getting closer near the entrance, and the entrance being essentially kind of a, a hastily constructed constructed archway uh, with a sign on top that says, Welcome to Shady Crags. 
uh, with a little population sign on the outside. And you, you see immediately why the town is named Shady Crags. It's actually built near the foot of a mesa uh, here in the New Mexico desert. And uh, all of you are smart enough to realize that its relative position keeps the town probably in a reasonable amount of shade uh, most of the day. And <clears throat> you cross over the, uh, the little bridge that is that kind of separates um, the outer quote unquote ring of the town from the, the inner ring. And at this point, if we're not in uh, Foundry, let's go ahead and show the map on Foundry and I will uh, be a good GM and I will pull all your tokens uh, into town there. We're not going to do like any initiative based movement or anything like that because that's not necessary. Okay. Um, but just to kind of give you an idea where you're at as you're going up the main thoroughfare of the town. The, the first thing that you do notice when you cross that little bridge and make your way into the town of Shady Craigs is that uh, a couple of the buildings here uh, have been burnt to the ground. And judging by the smell that you're picking up, and just what you can make out in the in the fading light, tiny little wisps of smoke, can't be more than a couple days um, that these buildings have been burnt uh, down. Further, the other thing that really kind of strikes you right away is that you don't see anybody. This town appears uh, to be devoid of people, at least down the main thoroughfare, which uh, really shouldn't be. So what I'm going to have you all do here first, I'm going to have you all make a notice check. Um, and, but not only do you make a notice check, I also want you to tell me what direction you're looking as you travel down that main road. Are you looking to the left? Are you looking to the right? Are you looking down? Are you looking up? Are you looking like a slight angle? You know, where, where are we all looking? And uh, go ahead and make your uh, go ahead and make your rolls. You should be able to call up all your cards, yes, for your characters, and uh, click on notice. So Amelia is looking towards the burnt buildings. There, there's essentially one on either side. So you're looking to the right or to the left, Amelia? Uh, the right. The right. Okay, Amelia's looking to the right. All right, what about you, Ben? I see that you've got a success with a raise there with your nine. Okay, I'm looking to the left. The uh, building with the burnt hole in the top, most likely. Okay, all right. Uh, June, you got a, You also got a success with a seven. Yeah, I'm looking up towards that. the tallest building. Um, looks like a, a, an N of some kind there, up towards the right. Okay, all right. And Owen? So down at the end of the street, there's there's that chapel. Yes. And so Owen, he 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 he's he's keeping an eye out, right? Keeping his visibility open, but uh, he keeps he keeps lingering on the on the the shadows and the details and the windows and that bell tower at uh, at the chapel. In the chapel there. All right. Okay, uh, Amelia. Uh, actually, Amelia and June, you're looking to the right. So <clears throat> you notice uh, as you're looking the direction towards the, uh, the, the burnt buildings, the, the, the buildings that are in front of it, and we'll say that the burnt buildings are kind of like in the next street behind, um, you notice a number of things. You see what appear to be uh, some broken windows. Uh, it also looks, Amelia, like you see evidence of maybe a few bullet holes here and there in some of the uh, the outer walls of these buildings. And let's see, for you, June, you're looking a little bit further up and towards the, the larger building there, which uh, you begin to easily identify as, as probably the town saloon, or at least one of them, or probably the grandest saloon in the town. And you see a lot of the same thing. You'd see what looks to be like evidence of where bullets have hit um, the outer surface. But you also see some of those uh, pillars 
that support the upper balcony level there uh, have been broken and look like they've been broken harshly. So they haven't been cut. They've been just like smashed um, off clean, you know, so there's splinters uh, everywhere there. Um, Chris? Yes. I forgot I have the investigator edge. Does that apply? Because if so, I get a raise. Ah, okay. Uh, I'll give it to you. Um, in this particular, I think I think that's more putting together details. But right, you can. Fine. But what I'll give you though for that is that you notice what probably may have caused, um, or actually, you notice some details in regards to where the where the building is burnt. Um, the, the building in front of it also appears to have some fire damage as well. Um, and then as you're kind of scrutinizing as you move up the street, and if you'd like to grab your tokens and move them further up the street, you can do so. Uh, what you also notice with that is that there looks to be claw marks of some sorts uh, scraping across the uh, the outer wooden walls of some of these buildings. In June, in your case, since you're focusing on the saloon, that looks like the just prior to where the the pillars are broken. There's there's claws there as well. So it's almost like maybe something may have clawed at it and broke it. Um, for you, Ben, as you look to the left and you got a success with the raise as well, you also see some broken uh, windows as well, as well as some of the, uh, some broken railings in regards to the little walkways that kind of rest right on the outside of some of the buildings. Uh, there's several different, um, or several different sections where the railing has either been uh, busted clean off or some of the little support um, Pillars, not pillars, that's not the right word for it, but you know what I mean. Uh, those things are broken. Right. Uh, you also uh, see evidence of claw marks uh, along these broken sections. But what stands out to you as you're going past uh, one building in particular is that by the, um, by the entrance to one of these buildings, there appears to be um, a spray or the residue from a spray of blood. As you focus a bit more and look down, uh, you see on this kind of resting uh, by a rocking chair, what looks to be uh, like a hand. For um, you, Owen, as you're looking towards that building in the center of town and the bell tower, um, sure enough, it is indeed a church, just like you saw. But um, it appears, at least from the distance that you're at right now, that um, that building remains, uh, you don't see any, any obvious signs of damage uh, done to that building. All right. Well, that's uh, with all the other things that have happened or that, that the others are seeing, and he's probably glanced at some of those minor details that would jump out. Uh, Owen is going to uh, pull on his sling and, and pull up his, his Winchester. Just okay. have it ready, just in case. All right. What are the rest of you doing? Uh, I alert everyone. Um, there is a disembodied hand over there in that building. Ooh, uh, let me see. Uh, okay. <laughs> And I head towards it. Be, be careful. Okay. Uh, as she's heading towards it, I, I feel honor bound to make sure she, she stays safe because I, I walk with her. Okay. And I will, I'll, I'll ping which building it is. So you guys should see my little, uh, little game master thingy pop up by next to a I building. Yep. So, yeah. And, yeah. Um, so Owen will say, Miss Sawyer, Miss Campbell, we should probably stick together. And he, along with with Ben, he 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 escorts uh, Miss Sawyer. I agree. Okay. Amelia doesn't especially wait for the escort. <laughs> She's just like really excited and just like heading towards it. Uh, sure enough, <clears throat> you do um, 
you get up there, uh, you get up there, Amelia, and yeah, you can see that at, when you get close. Yep, you can see the spray of blood, and you look down by that rocking chair, and uh, you do see uh, the disembodied hand, and right around it is indeed some of the broken banisters. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Thank you, Amy, <laughs> in, in, in backstage there. Uh, you do see some of them uh, as well. And of course, Ben, now that you're up closer, you can definitely see that there is uh, for sure signs of um, of claw marks uh, around this area as well. And you can even see a few spent shell casings down in the, uh, the walkway here as well. Are they uh, pistol I, uh, or rifle or what kind of shell casings? Uh, they appear to be both pistol and rifle. What were you going to say there, June? <clears throat> um, as I dismount, I'm also <clears throat> going to uh, cast uh, Detect Arcana and okay. um, and take a look over the blood spray and the, and the hand area. All right. Go for it. Ooh. Oh. There's a roll. Yeah. That's a success with a raise. Wow. Yeah. So what what exactly will this allow you to is this just detect any just the general presence of magic or residual magic or um power to see and detect all supernatural persons, objects, or effects in sight for five rounds. Includes invisible foes, enchantments on people or items, weird science devices. Uh, and so on. With a raise, I know the general type of enchantment as well. Harmful, obscurement, magic, miracles, etc. Gotcha. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. You you open up your senses uh, to this and begin kind of walking around and just looking, focusing in on some of the areas. And you're not picking up anything active and, uh, and immediately present. But with that 14... Um, with that 14, I'm going to give you the fact that you, you do pick up what appears to be sort of a, a, a fading uh, residual sense of something of a supernatural um, basis, a supernatural uh, origin. Okay. Uh, for a trapping, by the way, it's nothing very obvious, but like the shadows that are by her feet um, that are kind of like you know, the result of being near a person. They seem to kind of leach into her and then cloud her eyes. It's like her eyes go a little bit darker. So there is some some trapping effect, but you'd have to be very close to see them. And it helps that she wears the mask to kind of hide her eyes a little bit. So that's the trapping of using Detect Arcana for her. Uh, okay. Uh, but, uh, but I'm saying, I'm also going to, since five rounds, I'm also going to be looking over my friends because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. <laughs> yeah. Friends. Yeah, friends. <laughs> uh, I think the only one that you're going to spot is uh, it's going to be Ben, I believe, right? Who has um, nothing uh, arcane, up right now. Arcane backgrounds. Yep. Um, I don't. You know, I'm I'm still pretty new to Deadlands and stuff, but uh, Ghost Steel um, is. Owen's bayonet on his lever action Winchester is, is made of ghost steel. I don't know if the tech arcana would see that. And he's wearing a ghost steel armored vest as well. So. And it, it probably also will, you'll be able to uh, get a good read on Amelia's camera as well. Yeah, that's the only thing I have. And Amelia, are you taking photos too of this hand and everything? Oh yeah, absolutely. I, right. I, I took a photo when we first got into the town. Oh man, I'm already tongue tied. I took a photo when we first came into the town and then like of the saloon, the burn saloon that we were kind of looking at. And then now this building and like getting closer. Um, gotcha. And yeah. I, I am also looking for something to poke the hand with like just some wood or something. Oh yeah. That's easy enough to find. Yeah. I was going to say, at this point, Ned June is, has already, you know, surveyed it a little bit. She walks over and picks it up. 
So yeah, so Amelia, you turn around and you've got like a broken piece of a of a banister that you're going to go and poke it, and you turn and yeah, June is is just like holding it by you know a couple of the fingers, and it there is just the there is a, a little telltale drip, drip, drip of some of the uh, the the remaining blood that's in the hand as she has it uh, uh, you know tipped up tipped up in that direction. Okay, Did you I want the hand. Uh no, thank. I just want. Uh, let me, uh, and I get closer to look at it because I just want a really good look. I still don't want to touch it because it's kind of gross. Um, <laughs> so I think I still poke it with my little bit of banister <laughs> in, while it's folk, in June's hand. Before the women folk trample on everything, can I make a survival <laughs> check to see if there's any tracks or anything obvious like that? You know, yeah, go for it. Bloody footprints, whatever. Uh, that's going to be a two. <laughs> you, you're welcome to spend a Benny if you'd like to re-roll that. No, nah, it's just a cursory glance. All right. The, uh, the hand, it does, the, the, the flesh of the hand does still give a little bit. Um, I mean, you know, it, 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 you're not sure exactly how long it's been, it's been this particular way, but I mean, it still has enough moisture left in it, uh, that it does give a little, um, Owen, as you you even though you got a two, uh, because of your your just your general background, uh, you do notice on the hand itself that there is uh, like residual uh, gunpowder. You know that's just that's that's always there from when somebody's holding this you know gun in their hand and they're shooting. You know they get a little little bit of that on their on their hands, um, and you could just see some like of the that. telltale signs of that. Um, Ben, as you're just kind of standing there, make, you know, keeping your eyes open, one thing that you do notice that strikes you as a little curious, um, that in the center of the main thoroughfare, and while, you know, it's certainly not a, a smooth road by any means, um, you know, there's there's various holes here and there and, and dips and bumps and whatnot. But one thing that does strike you as being rather uniform is right down the center of the street, there appears to be, uh, I guess what you could best maybe describe as two uh, parallel shallow ditches. They're about 10 feet apart. Uh, and go maybe any you know just from looking at it from about six to eight inches uh, into the the dirt, um, which is relatively hard, but obviously it's softening a little bit with the rain that's coming down, and it stretches as far as you can see down the main thoroughfare. Okay, going out to those, uh, I'm going to try to use survival to possibly see what type of tracks might have made these. Okay. What, what might have made this? Um, yeah, uh, make me a survival. All right, four. Yeah, that'll 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 give you success. Uh, whatever it was, it was prop. It was something that was man-made um, in structure. So it it they do appear relatively uniform. So it may not have been dug, you know, with a shovel, but it could have been. Uh, a really, really heavy wagon. Um, you're not. You're not sure. It's hard for you to come up with an idea or an explanation of what it could have been. But its general direction is towards it, the chapel. Uh, it actually it kind of stops where the intersection is, uh, but then runs back towards the entrance of town. Okay. As I walk out there. In June, are you um, still? Are, are June, what are you doing? Is uh, I mean, after you've handed the hand over. Yeah. I've handed over the hand. Um, I did not I, accept the hand. I did not touch it. <laughs> if you don't want it, she just lets it drop. High uh, five. Yeah. <laughs> Back scratcher. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's, uh, I'm going to, I don't think that there's anything really occult going on here. Um, mm -hmm. But I am going to do, uh, I'd like to do an occult roll just to see. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Wow. All right. So a couple things happen here when you do that. So the hand 
plops to the uh, back down to the on the walkway with a, this, this, this sickening sort of splorch. And June, you you notice that Ben has has kind of wandered off, and so you just kind of cast your gaze back out in the street. And just as your detector arcana is failing, and you start thinking about this, you know, clearly there's something going on here. And as your as the power of your is it are they hexes what are they for are they actual spells for witches what is it um, what is the yeah, proper they, term they are spells they are spells black magic, so it, okay so yeah so as your spell is fading and you turn and you 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 kind of key your mind in regards to what it is you're looking for you too see the trenches and there is just this sort of minor glow of sorts indicating um, uh, a supernatural presence of sorts that is there just briefly and then it fades away uh, as as the power of your spell fades as you look at the at the trenches and at that time everybody can make me a hearing based notice check all right Okay, I'm trying to pull up my character here. Hold That's on. just fine. Amelia, did you want to re-roll that? You got a two. Oh, and you have succeeded. June, you have succeeded with a raise again. Woohoo! I think Amelia is kind of um, focused on the hand and also the crime scene, so to speak. And I, I think she's not really, like, she's just zoned in, so she doesn't hear it. So I'm not going to spend a bidding. You're busy, like, arranging to get that perfect shot. You're just, like, sort kind of... Yeah. kicking the hand to just into the right spot there. Yeah, and maybe, maybe if it were here and maybe the light could be a little bit, you know. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right. Yeah, so you're focused in on that. You're doing that. The three of you, um, Owen, you hear, well, all of you hear this, but then June and Ben get to hear something a little extra. You, through the, uh, through the sound of the rain and the wind, Although the wind's not really that that strong, but from the the the, uh, the rain coming down and the distant thunder, the three of you can hear a sound begin to cut through that, and it sounds almost like a, uh, a somewhat raspy female voice that is singing, and it seems to be coming from inside the chapel uh, down there. At that same time. Uh, June and Ben, you can hear, and it's just just the, the the faintest of sounds, and it's in the distance, far outside of town, and it's even kind of mixed with a with a peal of thunder, and so you're not a hundred percent sure if this is indeed what you heard, but you think you hear the sound of of, of a low and distant uh, train whistle, but it, if that's what it was, it's very far away. Hmm. Well, um, Owen, if he, he hears that, he was already eyeing that chapel very suspiciously. So what he'd like to do is he's going to he's going to kind of um, hunch over and 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 make a dash towards the chapel as quietly as he can without uh, banging his spurs too hard. And yeah, I'd like to make a stealth check and see if he can come around the side and the whatever is the most shadowed side of the chapel and maybe get a, a, a peek into one of the windows to see what's inside. Go for it. Make that still throw. Five. That's um, technically a success. If something's in there, uh, you know, they have, you know, of course it's an opposed role, but I'll worry about that. Uh, yeah. You, you are able to get around uh, to where a window is and you, you peek inside. What are the rest of you doing as you see Owen uh, take off as as behind you, you hear a choom, choom from Amelia's camera as she's taking a couple of shots. Does anyone else hear a train? I thought I did, actually, yes, but I'm more worried about what's going on in there, pointing at the chapel. And then I, I put my hand like on uh, Amelia's shoulder and I'm like, time to go. Oh, uh, take oh, pictures later. Okay, uh, yeah, oh, all right, sir. Oh, okay. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, Owen can use the 
the the rain and a little bit of wind and the the shadows to his advantage on that stealth check. <laughs> 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 yes, um, I, would, I probably I probably should have given you a little bit of a bonus. Um, here, I'm going to make you apply it however you like. <laughs> uh, hold on, I have to do. Okay, hopefully, hopefully nobody saw that. Okay, I did. You didn't. So none, I just did a private roll. Did none of you saw that? No. No. Cool. All right. Gosh, I never got such a high number. You know, you guys missed how great of a roll that was. <laughs> Yeah, we. I just believe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so the three of you start making your way up to the chapel. Uh, Owen, you peek around. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's just like he's got his his shotgun. He's just kind of looking around right at the edge of a window. You know, just... you 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 prop your head up and you get that, you know, we see that we see the shot of like a single eye, you know, just kind of looking through from the inside the church angle as, as the rain is coming down and you see an individual in this inside in the interior of this church. And there's like one lantern that is lit and it's, you know, it's set down maybe um, up at the, uh, up in the altar area. And it's casting a very dim glow, but you see a silhouette of one individual sitting in a pew uh, facing towards the altar. Chris, before I move on to the ch church, I have a couple of questions about okay. the hand. All right. Um, was it possible to tell like if it was like severed or bit or clawed? Make me give healing. No. You can try it untrained if you'd like. I don't know how to do that. Without you should be able to do, yeah, just do a. It should the, be in your skill list, yeah. Yeah, it's in skill list. Yeah, should be, yeah, like the untrained. Yeah, so Owen uh, is going to, you know, I'm sure he probably took his Stetson off while he was looking through the window and he's going to he's gonna put it back on, you know, and head back to the group. Okay. Tell him what he saw. All right. Did you find it there in your sheet, uh, Shannon? I did not. It should be on the bottom. I untrained. don't have any. Yeah, I don't oh. have untrained at the bottom. Oh, it's D four minus two. Oh, that's right. Well, you then have... um, you know what? Then do then do this. So you have you can see the dice roller in the in the chat, right? Yeah. On the very bottom. So if you want to click the it. click where it says wild, so that's highlighted. I rolled better the first time, but oh well. Great success. I, I'll take the <laughs> I'll take the failure. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right. So yeah, you can't tell. I mean, you. It, 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 the one thing that is obvious without making any skill roll is it doesn't look like it was, you know, surgically removed. Um, you just can't tell exactly, you know, if it was hacked off, if it was ripped, uh, okay. or some, or if it was bit. You're not sure. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to check out. So there was blood splatter. Was it like on the wall, or was it like? the rest of this body was being dra drug off. Um, it, yeah, it, it's it's like one of those, you know, when you see in a horror movie where there's like the slash and then there's the spray of blood. So it, okay. it kind of goes it's out on, at an angle like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's, uh, not, it's not an overabundance of blood, uh, it is, but it is definitely some blood. Okay, those were just my questions about the hand. And now I'm happy to go to the church with June. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Owen, you come back. What do you what do you report? Oh, so Owen comes back and he said he tells them that uh, I mean basically what he saw. Uh, there's there's someone in the in the chapel. I didn't stick my whole head in the window, but there's someone sitting in the pew looking towards the altar. And there's a lantern in there. I don't know if there's any others. Did you hear them singing? I don't know. Uh, GM, did I hear any singing through the window? You would have heard, yeah, continued uh, singing, yes. So it's def yes, that singing is definitely coming from inside the chapel. It sounded very hymnish. You would like be the most, yeah. almost like a hymn. You would be the most presentable of us, Miss Sawyer. Now, is this is this a hymn that I would recognize? Can I roll yeah. common knowledge? Give me uh, a common to... knowledge. All right. Because I'm so great at common knowledge. <laughs> hey. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Hey. 
We've been to church a few wow. times. Wow. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So 21. Okay. All right. So actually, yeah. And here's in, it kind of actually weirds you out um, in regards to this because I have no idea if this, if this hymn had been written at this time, but it is now. Um, the song is near my God to thee. However, but the, the tune, and you even were able to pick out, pick out a few words and you don't recognize like this must be a verse that you never heard before because so the, the phrasing was different and the um, some of the notes were also different. You know, it's like when you like it's slightly more minor. Well, maybe, <laughs> yeah. But it's it's also like one of the things like when you the, the song, you know, Obladi, Obladaba the Beatles, and why don't you get a job by the offspring? Like they sound really similar, in, but some people don't know. They like they listen to them like I don't hear it, but some people listen to it like, oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like that where it seems really familiar, but it's not quite the same. Are, do any of the specific lyrics jump out at me or is it just it's like slightly different and that's it's, it's like an entire you know. song it's like slightly different yeah no kidding just sing, me really... the, just sing me the whole thing no thank yeah. goodness <laughs> thank goodness we're not thank goodness we're not in a tavern you're not asking what the barkeep's name is because boy <laughs> um yeah i mean i'm just like like you know is it is there any like obvious like i worship satan you know no, nothing like that <laughs> however that said with your 21 even though you don't recognize this verse at, not at one point does do, were the words God used, uh, nor Jesus or any other Christian, um, you know, name of importance was 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 said. All mm. the other stuff, that, all the other stuff, that the, the the great text and everything, and inspirational type words and all of that, that's there. But no specific references. To no specific the, references to actual uh, spiritual individuals. Okay interesting so yeah he he mentions that as well <laughs> hmm. oh He's that's got weird. a bad feeling he racks he racks the winchester <laughs> in the lever yeah action. <laughs> did you well. can we go in there <laughs> Yeah, the do you you can see you can from do here whatever the door, you want, the, door is, the door is wide <laughs> open in fact yeah, now <laughs> <laughs> and because the, the sun has gone down a little bit, you can actually see a little bit of the glow from the inside from the the, the lamp. I'm sure. Let's we go can. check it out, right? Know that we should. You be my guest. I'll be right behind you. Maybe they know what happened in the town. I bet they do. Oh, I bet they do. Yeah. <laughs> you want Amelia yeah. does not pick up on the subtext and no. starts heading <laughs> towards the chapel. Doesn't seem like it. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Owen. So. Well, uh, well, yeah. Owen's gonna be, head I'll back towards the, that window. He's sneaking back over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so was that Jody? I didn't mean to talk. Yeah, about but, yeah. Uh, sorry. I said, yeah, yeah I said I'll be damned if I let that reporter go in first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think she's yeah. most comfortable going in there, Miss Amelia. <laughs> I will walk yeah. beside Amelia. Yeah, and Owen's Owen's going back towards the window that he was familiar with. All right. If you want another sneak roll, you don't, do you do, one. yeah, nah, that's fine. Cool. All right, so Amelia, you're right at the stairs. Looks like you got uh, June. There, there she is, and there's Ben. Okay, are you, are you like, are you going right in, or are you waiting until everybody gets oh, there? Yeah. No, I'm going, I'm going right in. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready with a, a wave and a and a howdy. I'm trying to elbow you out of the way. <laughs> like no, 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 no. Let let me go first. <laughs> <laughs> not safe, Miss Sawyer. Let me go first. Oh, it's yeah. fine. It's just someone praying. It's yeah. That's all. <laughs> Face I'm sure it's off. just a regional version of the hymn. <laughs> now June is going to give you her best intimidating glare and say, "I go in first. <laughs> <sighs> all right, after you. So yeah. And okay. I'm not trying to be stealthy or anything. I'm just you just you just going in, all right? And then, yeah. and, and Owen, you're taking up like a cover position by the window. Exactly. He's uh, he's ready to fill somebody full of buckshot that doesn't expect it. Excellent. And then Ben, where are you in all this? Um, I'm still trying to be protective of of Amelia. Okay. 
Uh, Miss, <laughs> the other lady with us, she seems like she can handle a bear in rage. So <laughs> it's good. <laughs> All right. So the the three of you uh, head inside, and 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 as you're and as you're crossing the threshold into the uh, into the church, you can hear you can hear this song as well. Uh, and it is it definitely sounds. There's a woman singing. Uh, her voice is. It, it sounds like it has a bit of a youthful quality to it, but you know she's. It's not that she's singing, you know, in a manner that's flat. It um, but it sounds like her voice, despite that youthful tone to it, uh, is is tired. You can you can almost feel that there's some sort of uh, exhaustion uh, behind it. Uh, despite being second and behind June, I still speak up first, and I kind of pop out behind June, and I'm like, "Howdy! I uh, did stuff happen? Are you okay? Do you need help or?" Like what happened? And you say that, and at that point you see her right hand actually uh, comes up and she, she holds it and it's a gloved hand. You can see in the light from the lantern here and she, she holds it and then she, she slowly lowers uh, some fingers just to be here like this, just to make you wait. And about 15 seconds. Oh, sorry. Yep, and about 15 seconds goes by and she finishes the song and her arm comes down and you see, and she has, from what you can tell, it looks like she has a, um, well, you could just see her head. She, has, she doesn't have a hat on and she's got hair and it looks very dirty, um, almost matted together in certain areas or in, in some of the areas on top of her head. And she, begins to struggle to get up and oh and you can see this from the side she's struggling to get up and she kind of staggers a little bit and then she turns uh, to face you and you can see from the fading light on the in on the outside as well as from the 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 lamp on the outside she has a patch over her right eye um, her left side of her face, basically from just around the eye back, appears to be scarred, probably from burns of some sort. She's missing some of the hair on the top of her head. She also does not appear to have much of a left arm. There's a folded sleeve uh, from the jacket that she's wearing. And Owen, oh, you can tell, but you can't tell exactly what it is. The rest of you can't see this because the pew is blocking it. But Owen, oh, you can see there's something wrong with one of her legs as well. It just, it's not moving right. Now you said that there's that sleeve. Now is that sleeve bloody or does that look like it's been like that way for it a while? It looks, yeah, it looks, it's it's like folded up. Folded up, so very neat. and Yeah, very bloody. neat and looks like she's probably missing Not like she arm. recently got her hand cut off. Uh, it does not appear that way. <laughs> Uh, and the, uh, the burn wound and the missing hair, is that fresh or is it like hair can't grow there anymore? It looks like hair can't grow there. Is she wearing a cross? Uh, make me a notice check at a minus two. Is that for everybody? Because we all want to know. Uh, yeah, if you want. Yeah, heck yeah. I wouldn't know to look for it. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Just for I, just for that, Ben, I'm going to give you a Benny. That was very clever. All right. Boom. Okay. A situational modifier minus two. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't apply the minus two in in Foundry. So how dare you? My roll is a two. All right. Uh, yours is a two. So yeah, Ben, you or I'm sorry, uh, Owen, you can't quite figure it out. Uh, June, you got uh, success with the raise. Uh, and Amelia, you're just kind of transfixed with her face, and so you can't really um, see any other details. So, and then uh, Ben, that's right, you didn't know what to look for. So June, you do you notice um, this? She's lifting up a hand and going to put a hat on. Um, and as you're looking, uh, first of all, to answer the question that Owen asked, you, you're not seeing any signs of a cross or any sort of. Uh, symbols of Christianity on her. But what you do notice um, is that she does have a gun uh, in a holster at her hip, but she also has another holster on her on her left leg. But this holster is much 
it's 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 built funny and you have to kind of squint a little bit and you realize that the holster holds a book hmm. and she puts the hat on uh, her head and she looks and she smiles this um sort of broken smile and she looks and she she says oh hello there i'm sorry i, I didn't mean to be rude i just wanted to finish my song Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so, what? Are, are you okay? <sighs> I've been better. I'm. I mean, I'm fine. If, if that's what you mean, I, I'm. I, she looks around. I'm a bit. I'm a bit sad and upset with myself. I, I, I didn't make it here, uh, in time. Oh, so you don't know what happened either. Or did you? You said in time, so that sounds like maybe you knew something was going to happen. She begins to limp uh, a little bit from around the pew to kind of come to the center aisle of the church. Um, and she says, I, uh, I, I do believe I know what happened to these, these good folks. Uh, who, who are you? Oh, right. Uh, so I'm Amelia, uh, Miss Sawyer, whatever. I don't care. Amelia, uh, this is Ben and this is Miss Campbell. And I gestured to each of them how I kind of did. And I'm still kind of like standing in front of her like, I bow. fine, stay behind me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Amelia is just like peeking around her <laughs> uh, with no, no sense of self-preservation. It, it's none. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's a pleasure to meet you i i uh like i said i think that you're i think that you um well you're also a bit late we yeah, our yeah. Names. what's yours oh. oh right yeah introductions go both ways <laughs> yes <laughs> she coughs a bit uh, i am alice Alice Fenimore, uh, and she 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 pats she reaches around with her right hand and pats her left holster. Uh, Reverend Alice Fen Fenimore, what is Have a I ever reverend? Heard that name? Uh, what was what did you say, June? I was asking if, if we've ever heard that name. Uh, you can make me a common knowledge roll at a minus four. And while you do that, um, you said you Ben, you asked her what's a reverend. What is a reverend? Oh, I um, <laughs> I'm a uh, uh, I'm a follower. I'm a follower of the one. I I, I go and I I, I spread um, the good news of the one to those willing to listen. You mean God, right? Uh, you are a priest. Yes, a priest. Ah, we have those. Uh, Amelia, you have not, uh, or June, you have not heard of, uh, neither have you, uh, Amelia, have not heard of this person. Yes, uh, that, that, that is good to hear you. Priest, uh, pastor, padre, yeah, there's many different names. Uh, reverend is what we use. I see. Owen, what are you Please. doing at this point? Are you still hanging out outside? Yeah, can Owen hear this through the window? Is you the window like open or closed? Or? The window is not open. You can hear some of the conversation. You also, though, what you do hear um, is there's another kind of crack of thunder, but now you're sure that you heard mixed in there somewhere that there is uh, that there may have been a, a train whistle, but it doesn't sound like it was really far away like the other two had heard. Uh, you can also oh. hear... You can also absolutely here amelia she's loud and her voice carries much like myself <laughs> <laughs> um that uh that train whistle i mean we were heading out is does it sound like it's on the like i guess i'm trying to say does it sound like it was on the same moving the same direction as the one that we were originally on or you you've been, like you've been going for, yeah no you've been going for a couple of days and so you're not you're not sure if there's right. any if there's any tracks around here, but you don't recall seeing any as you were coming up towards the town. Okay, 
cool. I know that's kind of an esoteric question, but okay. Um, interesting. And he's, and he is keeping an eye on the yard and the area. He, he, he looks up the main thoroughfare and, and across the way at the graveyard and across the street. Um, and I'm, I'm assuming, I mean, I can make a nose check if you like, but do I observe anything really obvious? Nothing, nothing obvious. Nothing jumps out. Uh, at you, uh, both uh, uh, metaphorically and, and literally. So, <laughs> right. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna just kind of keep his spot. I mean, so so you know, a little meta gaming, but Owen's Owen likes to get the drop on his opponents. <laughs> that's right? that's just fine. That's um, kind of his. Uh, he, he's no nonsense. Kill the target. Move the next target. Kind of thing. So okay, he doesn't play fair. Um. Okay, so back back in the church. Uh, so, yeah, yeah uh, so, so after, you know, she had said her piece, uh, June's giving her kind of the once over up and down and says, usually, Reverend, we see objects or symbols of your faith. What symbol do you carry? Oh, I, yes. Um, she she again. She pats she pats the left holster, and she even kind of lifts the the book slightly. Not anything like too jerky of of, of a movement or anything. But she goes, "This is this is but but all I need uh, for what I do." Oh yeah, the Bible that checks. Um, you could call it that. Wait, why wouldn't you call it that? Oh, um, it, it's just a book. What's the matter with calling it a, a, a book? Well, no, it it is a book. It is a book. It is a book filled with with many with many uh, good things. Can I see it? Uh, no, I, that I cannot share. Oh well, that's because it's not a Bible. So, are you like one of those and? other religions? <laughs> we don't. Religion seems like such a. Um, uh, a bracketed term. Uh, it is. It is a. No, it's cool. I'm. 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 Uh, I'm cool with that sort of thing. Other religions exist. It's not all Christianity. Well, no, and in, in in those are the one we do definitely uh, have. A, we we just like to uh, say we follow uh, the tenets of our faith, I guess. And then she 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 cocks her head for a minute. Like she maybe she heard something and then she looks back at the three of you and she says, but wait, maybe maybe the three of you were were actually brought here uh, in res in response to to all of this. No, I don't think so. Well, we're just passing through, ma'am. Oh, but passing through is is that means that you are meant to go somewhere. And maybe, yeah, California, the Great Maze. That's where we're all headed. Wanted to check it out, you know. Yes, but there is no there. But maybe there is something on the way that you can do. She, she, her shoulders kind of sink a little bit, and she says, "I." Uh, and she she kind of limps forward a little bit, and now as she's getting a little closer to you, you can tell it looks like she has because her left leg kind of thumps a bit when it hits the floor and you could tell it, 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 it must be a prosthetic of some sort. And she says, no, I, I don't think that this is a, this is a, a coincidence. You, you must, you must, you must take up and finish what, what, what I've begun and, and, and I'm no longer able to do. What, like finding out what happened or gathering the survivors? Are there survivors? How long ago did you get here? There will, there's, there are no survivors. Uh, this sh Shady Craig's is now a town filled with nothing but empty souls. Oh, man. Bummer. You don't look like your faith has protected you very well over the years, so I don't know that I'm inspired to take up your cause. June, I think that's rude. <laughs> no, it is It is fine. Uh, it's, it's actually, Miss, my faith has actually served me quite well and and she she looks over her body she says yes i did have to make sacrifices but i needed to atone for some of the sins of 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 my own arrogance from the past but you the three of you are healthy young and strong this i don't want to atone for any sins is you what 
I you want us to take up your cause. I don't want to atone for any sins. So like, there's not into n- that. No, there's nothing for you to atone for. It is merely. You're right. I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think I used to think like you. What is your I cause? I like you for some reason, Amelia. <laughs> what is your cause? I I am not a priest. No. Uh, my cause, I'm what happened to this town and what has happened to so many others, the the, the night devils, they they came and took all of the souls here. Night devils? What are those? In the name, in the words of my honorable father. Oh, hell no! (laughs) 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 But uh, all seriousness, uh, I do want to do a um, an occult check for night devils to see what I know about that. All right. I've seen many things. I, I think I like Foundry. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you roll so well. I know because because we aren't in combat. That's when the crit feels right. <laughs> you um you have an idea of what she might be what she might be saying. Um and you'll probably have a better idea here as as she she continues. She says Many, many years ago, uh, me and, and, and my friends, we were a group much like yourself. Oh, sorry for your loss. I, I Thank you. Thank you for that. We came upon the Night Devils much by accident. We had come into a town just looking to rest from the trail. The Night Devils came. I'll never forget the sound. It, uh, they were announced by a, a train whistle. We we thought at first that maybe it was just a train coming into that town at the strange hours of the evening, but no, what was on there and what came with them was something truly, truly evil. They came and took the people of the town, took them in the night. We did what we could to fight, uh, but... We were not necessarily very successful. They left before any of my friends were hurt, but we made the mistake of going after them. In that time, we chased down the train that they rode on, found them, and that is where things became very bad for my friends. All of them were killed. I was spared only because... I fell off of the train as it raced through the night. I made it my goal to then chase them down from that point. It took some time. And over that time, I know I began to learn that the powers of these night devils, they began to change. They began to become something more than what they had started. And there was more in varied types of them. Town after town, I would track them down, always arriving just a little bit too late, much like here in Shady Crags. However, one time with another group of travelers, much like yourself, I was successful. We were able to chase down the train. And the the one gave me a vision of what I needed to do. And you talk about atoning for sins and, and, and not in the cost of that I paid with my faith. This is because of that. I was able to plant the seed of, of change and the seed of goodness in the heart of their engineer, the person who drove their train, hoping that he might be able to finish what I had started. It appears that that hasn't fully happened but I know that I'm close. And she, she rummages in, like she you realize, in, she also has a little bit of a knapsack with her. And she pulls out these things with, with her, with her uh, sole remaining hand. And it looks like a, um, 
It looks like a divining rod of some sort uh, to find water. You know, the two little things you hold together and they do that whole, the whole thing to find water. She goes, this yeah, dousing rod. Yep. Dousing rod. Thank you. A banister rod. Again, I'm having trouble with words today. <laughs> um, she says, this has allowed me to find where the engineer and where their train may be. And I know that I'm close, but as I said, I'm tired and I don't think I have much more in me. That's why I'm hoping that maybe you can finish what I've started. So okay, as, right. as I see that um, she's, it's turned into a, a very genial, I guess, or, or friendly kind of conversation compared to so what far. he was expecting. Right. Yeah. But Owen, Owen comes around the side and, and comes in the entrance of the church while she's speaking. And uh, you just hear him slowly step on the wooden floors with the jangle of the spurs intentionally as he holds his shotgun and listens, listens to what she's saying. Um, and, and, and comes up behind the other, the others of his party. Holding the shotgun at the ready or like pointing down? Oh, low, low. Yeah. Pointing down low. Yeah. Oh, but so this isn't I'm... like some sort of weird, weird wolf. This is like a gang, a posse or whatever. <laughs> and they travel by train. Wait, there's not a train anywhere near this town. Well, maybe there is. And it, Owen says, I just heard a whistle. I heard a whistle also. I think that train is coming back to this town. But there's I not any tracks. And you see her nod when you say that to June. And she says, as I find them, they find me. I think they're coming back for me. But if you leave and you take this with, you may be able to find the engineer and f finish Finish what I started. And you, with your eight that you got on your occult role, June, as she's talked about this, now you're starting to piece together some various legends. You've heard of things before. Um, some of the lingo that was used was night trains, where these trains would appear in the middle of the night. And these creatures, these beasts, would exit from the freight cars of these trains take the people of the town, put them back in the freight cars, and then vanish, leaving the towns empty and abandoned, um, essentially as ghost towns. But June, with that raise that you got, you know that over the years, as these tales have been told, they began to change a little bit and that the creatures that would come out, which looked like men, some people would say they were... Um, just simply creatures of the night. Some people would say they had long claw-like hands and sharp uh, fangs that would come that would come out of their mouth about two feet. Um, you even heard the term nose ferrets uh, amongst them. But over the years, the tales kind of changed a little bit to the point where other creatures uh, were involved in these things. Um, bats, large bats, uh, fiendish wolves. Uh, and then the weirdest part of the thing is that the tales would it changed the fact that these trains would only show up in towns where there were tracks, but eventually it became that these trains would show up anywhere, anywhere they so, so they so chose to do so. And okay. Those, so uh, tracks that I saw earlier, the ditches that uh, were supernatural inclined, that might've been a resting place for that train. And you, as, as, you say that and there's sort of a pause and then you can all hear again another faint uh train whistle but it does indeed for both ben and june it sounds like it is um getting closer and you see alice the look on her face uh becomes one of a bit of worry and she starts to hobble towards you looks like it's your stop it does but it doesn't have to be yours okay she so uh, we're leaving you here to die. We're taking your little swizzle sticks or whatever, and we're leaving yes. to find the train that's coming here. Yes. Find the engineer. Find the engineer. That's it, here. Going to be here to kill no, you. It's not here. And she, she even holds it up and she, she, she actually, she thrusts it into your hands, 
uh, Amelia. She says, hold, hold each one, hold each one. And I'm, I'm holding them if she puts them in my hands. Yeah. And, and you do that and you see them sort of almost like compass directionally point away from the town. And she says, something has happened. It's not there. It's not coming here. The engineer is not here. There is a train that is coming for me, but the engineer is not on it. So Follow this. The engineer. He's close by. Yes. Well, one thing's for certain. If that train is making an appearance here, I don't want to be here. I Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, all right, I guess. Mask friend speaks the truth. You don't want to be here. Oh, I almost forgot here. And she she reaches again into her satchel. She says, "This, these may help you. And she tosses a bag towards you, Owen. And you hear it clink when you grab it. There's the, the telltale sign of that. It feels like bullets. And it sounds as it clinks in there that there's definitely bullets in there. And she pulls out um, two more. Uh, they're like tiny little clay jars. And she hands them to you, Ben. Um, and she says, these and those, as she looks at you, Owen. These were gifts that... I found along the way. I, I, I won't. I won't need them, but you may. And she, she, she looks at you all and she says, "Those, those should fit your gun. If, if you, if you shoot the devils with them, it will hurt. It will hurt them quite a bit." What was I passed again? I'm sorry. You were passed two little clay jars, and she, she says to you, she says these. These were born out of sacrifice from some good friends of mine. Throw this, break them in the ground in the presence of the night devils, and they too will regret it. So Owen, Owen lets his his uh, Winchester hang by its sling, and he opens the the satchel. What kind of what kind of uh, ammunition's in it? There is. Um, there is whatever kind of gun you have <laughs> it is it will fit it will fit your winchester um and but oh there are there are six six rounds of winchester shotgun buckshot uh it would be or actually it would, it would be slug okay six slugs okay so he's gonna he's gonna keep those those handy he'll tie the tie the satchel off on his belt Actually, you know what? He, he'll put it into the into his bandolier. He'll put them in his bandolier at the front, so easy access. Okay. Don't want to lose them. He'll throw the extra six shells from his bandolier into the into the satchel and tie it on just in case. All right. You don't have the time to look at it, and there's not enough light in here. But as you're loading them in your bandolier, you can feel as if there's something has been engraved on the outer shell um, of each one as you as you put it in your bandolier. So, like, uh, you're going to die or whatever, and you're just kind of cool with that. Do you want us to do something for you? Do you have to die? I want you, yes, what I want you to do is leave. Well, other than the engineer thing, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. No, that's, <laughs> that is, that is all, that is, that has been my life for the past it has been my life for the past two years, and yes, uh, I do. I think I do need to die. I, I can't continue in this way. Not, not, not for the fight that needs to happen. All right, You've cool. Rest in peace, or whatever. Yeah, You've been fighting these uh, cold, devil, like devil, <laughs> devil bats. Completely devil icy. I have night those spirits. I You've have been fighting them for so long. And it's time for you to have some rest, isn't it? It is. It is time for me to return to the one. And she she uh, she pats her uh, she pats her Bible or her book. Sorry, not her Bible, her book. It's specifically, not a Bible. It's specifically not a Bible. <laughs> no. I really want. I really want that. I really want to see what the book is. It looks cool. 
I know. Um, I really want to like, see it. One arm and a peg leg. You could probably take it, but actually, I I'm pretty good at thievery. <laughs> Can I like sleight of hand her Bible? There, there would be. Yeah, just until she's dead, we'll come back for the court. <laughs> You stole a book from a disabled woman. That's yeah. awesome. Way to go, hero! Um, yeah. <laughs> Shannon, for, for dropping the temperature in the room at least 40 degrees with your last four or five comments, I think that, that earned you a bunny. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. Woo. All okay, right, but the well, question remains, can I slide the under book? <laughs> Um, you know, the, the, the answer to the question you know, is going to be, one is, too, I know so, that, you know, I know that uh, which, you should GM with a yes up. and, but I'm going to say <laughs> flat out, no way. There's, there's, there's no, there's no possible way you could get her book. All right. That's fair. <laughs> At least while she's alive. Yeah. We'll come back for it. Because, because Jody's later. right. You can always come back to town after. Oh, let's come back later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's not going anywhere fast. I look <laughs> forward to looting your body. <laughs> So, yes. Hero, what are you here for? A corpse? Move. We're all just partner hobos. <laughs> the quest keeper gave us cool stuff, but not the thing I really wanted. <laughs> Listen, I'm curious. <laughs> yes. This is a new weird thing. Yes. All right. Um, um, you, as, oh, go ahead. To close out the scene, however, before before like we leave, uh, June was making the point of, you know, you fought these things for a long time. Um, and I can respect that. And it's time for you to rest. Uh, June does step forward and gives her a hug. She uh, she she's hesitant at first, um, but then she does uh, reach right in and she hugs you back. And she hugs you with the with the sensation that. It has probably been a very long time since this woman has had that sort of physical contact of from someone who she would consider to be a companion of some sort. I mean, like a, like a good friendship hug. And, uh, and you feel almost like some of the weight that she's carrying. Well, you could feel the weight that she has been carrying um, for sure. And then, but you also feel that it lifts a little bit as well as you, as you break the hug. Amelia's internal monologue is, oh man, a hug. That would have been the perfect opportunity to steal that book. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't say it for once in her life. <laughs> yeah, oh, that dude doesn't yeah. say anything about but one time. <laughs> leading up to it after that. She just turns around and starts walking out. <laughs> All right. As as you as you turn and break from that, and the four of you go to leave the church, you right. hear one more blow of a train whistle, and this one seems like it is dang near on top of you. And as you step out of the church, the sounds of it fade. And though you don't necessarily see any train cars, you hear some sounds and you can see in the distant light as it has become, hold on, I'm gonna use a cool light control. As it be, as now become quite dark. Mm. So as the, as the train Fancy. whistle blows and we're walking out of the, of the chapel, uh, Owen's gonna, gonna turn towards Allison is going to tip his hat and walk out. She uh, she nods uh, she nods back to you as well, and um, and she almost even gives you like a little uh, kind of a finger salute off of her off of her hat. And yeah, you step outside, and the the, the train whistle fades, and you're making your way out the street towards your horses, but then you hear some shrieks and you hear some snarls and you look down the street and in the, in the, the darkness, you see a number of shapes come loping at you at a fast pace, but then you look up and you see some other things come swooping down from above and we're gonna go and do a combat. Ah, I was just about to say, hurry up, get on your horses, let's run away. So here's actually I mean, how you can still run away even if it's combat. Technically, that's very true. Oh, really, that is what Miss Campbell is advocating for. This is not a stay and fight kind of thing. Uh -uh. No, no, it is. Of. It's not. And here's here's how this is here's how this is going to go. We're going to do combat for a certain number of rounds. I'm not going to tell you exactly how many, but I will tell you that it is five or less. And then the 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 final round will actually we're going to switch to a quick encounter as to how you make your escape uh, from this. 
So what you see coming at you, and uh, go ahead and go ahead and pull your tokens out to the kind of the middle of the street. And I am going it's to. Too dark. I can't see them. Is, is it too dark? Is it too dark? We can't do that. Okay. So here, let me um, just imagine it's dark, and I will transition yeah. back to daylight. Or at least you have dusk. Yes. There we go. Okay. It was a really cool effect. It was right. a very yeah. cool effect. And um, we all right. Our horse is here. Oh, wait. And I've, so let me. Okay. So actually, don't put yourself that far up, uh, Amelia. Oh. I'm sorry, not Amelia. Uh, June. June. My bad. Okay. Um, okay. Now, is there any way that Owen can try and take cover and, and keep from being seen by the approaching things? Or is that... Uh, you, that can, kind of you can always on? try such things, yes. Okay. Um, all right, so now let's see if I'm, I'm going to add. Sorry, just to confirm, our horses are here at this building? Uh, we will say that that is exactly where they are. Okay. I'm sorry, I'll flip initiative uh, for you guys. <laughs> uh, okay, um, Owen, you have, and I'll, I'll run down everybody's thing. Actually, let me run down everybody's thing here. So, um, Amelia, you got a six of diamonds. June, four of hearts. Ben, two of diamonds. Owen, because you are, I think you level are level-headed, you have a choice between a six of clubs or a ten of clubs. I'll take the ten. All right. That's All what right. I'm assuming. And my guys got the aerial creatures, got a jack of clubs, and <clears throat> a five of hearts. Does anybody want to spend a penny to get a new card? Yes. Okay. Show how do I, that's one thing I don't, uh, oh, I can, here we go. All right, so flip that Benny out on the table there. Okay. And I will draw you a new card. Uh, you got a Queen of Diamonds. Thank you. I'm assuming you wanted to go with that. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, does anybody else want to uh, uh, spend Benny? All right. Okay, so first round. Uh, ben, you are actually first now with your Queen of Diamonds. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cast a uh, speed on myself with the quickness boost. Okay. And uh, in doing that, I also want to make uh, uh, can I determine how close these people are? Uh, they, as far as like um, within your pace, you, you actually, you probably, we probably can go ahead and use the distance there. Yeah. Okay. So oh, what I would do is that I would cast quickness on myself and then after doing that, I'm, my second action is to move up and do a strike with, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to cast quickness on myself and then light a lantern or whatever uh, using flint and steel. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. So go ahead and, and, and I won't give you the minus two multi-action penalty um, for lighting the lantern. So you can just go ahead and make the, 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 uh, the quickness okay. uh, at regular. Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I have to. Oh, yeah. There we go. I popped it out. All right. So now I can see the dice rolls in chat. All right. Okay. Cool. So Benny on that, and okay. I'm going to go ahead and do that again. There we go. There's there we go. Tess. All right. Okay. So uh, right now my my move is doubled. Okay. And I and I minus and I don't have a minus two for a multi action of two actions. Nice. Oh. And then you so you and then you also light your lantern, correct? Correct. Rock on. All right. So now it is their turn. Whoops. Hold on. That's not what I wanted it to do. So how do I? Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. So. Use his pace. All right. Oh, and I These... say the words Kong Chi. Sorry. Oh, very cool. And and how does, what does the rest of that look like? The rest of what? I mean, we, so you, you say that, and is like, is there any visible uh, signs beyond your beyond your your shout? Uh, my shout sounds like this: Kong Chi. Nice. Then, uh, 
and then basically you see me moving a bit smoother and quicker. Uh, it's almost a light speed, and I basically move in front of the other humans so they have some some sort of light source to possibly uh, negate their penalty. Okay. Perfect. All right. Oops, uh, I need this. All right, so they are all, everybody's within range. All right, so these, <clears throat> excuse me, so these three things comes, oops. Why is that not? Oh, there we go. Okay, so these three come swooping in on your group. This one actually comes over by you, Owen. <clears throat> Oops, he's got to go up one more. Okay. So he did see me. My stealth didn't work. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you get for your stealth? I didn't even a four. Didn't, a four? Uh, let's find out. I don't know if they have what they're if they have vision penalties because right the dim illumination might or might not affect them as well. Um, no, they actually. Uh, let's see. They see. Or okay. they, heck, they might have some sort of bat sonar they actually do but it is raining so that is going to mess with them just a little bit uh they actually don't see you or it doesn't see you so it instead goes over there perfect all right so <clears throat> those you see these three they come swooping in towards you and they're screeching as they're coming as they cut through the rain uh and they come down, claws leading the way. And let's go to the line. We'll attack uh, Ben first. Okay. Ben, what is, your, what is your parry? It is six. I also have aspect of monkey up, so it goes to an eight. Eight. All right, that is a miss. This one comes and it just swoops by you. And yeah, your quick reflexes, you dodge out of the way just as it, uh, as it, as it goes right by you. Amelia, what is your parry? Uh, that's a, a very large number. It's it's two. Two. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Um, <clears throat> uh, it does hit, but it doesn't hit you with a raise. So well, that's, that's good. That's a good thing. All right. So let's see. How do? Oh, here we go. Claws. Uh, you're going to take 14 <laughs> points of damage. What's your toughness there, Amelia? My toughness is six. Six. So that's uh, shaking and two wounds coming at you. Would you like to soak? Uh, yes, I would very much so. All right. <laughs> like uh, to soak. Yep, spend Hopefully that many. Put some points in vigor. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. No, not. Oh, sorry. I forgot how to use foundry. Okay, so here's my soak roll. Uh, you got one of them. How many ones did I have? Uh, you had two. So you now only have one. Uh, all right. I'll 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 try again. It's been Ooh, another okay. penny. All right. Yep. Oh, there Ooh. you go. There's some luck. Nice. So, right. yeah, with that 10, you definitely you soak both and you dodge out of the way uh, just in time. It, it, it tears just some of the fabric of your clothing, uh, but it doesn't get it all. And let's see, that looks like Amelia. So, Amelia, the other one comes swooping at you as well. Oh, no. I'm sorry, uh, June. I'm going to yeah. I've started doing that. Now I'm going to end up doing it again. Gosh dang it. June, what's your parry? Five. Five. Uh, I'm thinking another, 16 another. is not only going to hit, it's going to hit with a raise. Yep, that's, that's fair. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Okay. All right. So you're going to take some damage, possibly. And something else happens to you as well. Uh, that's going to be nine points of damage. What's your toughness? Seven. Sorry. Seven. So you are just shaken. And... It doesn't actually do any additional damage to you. However, you are now entangled uh, as it has come down and is clamped on you. And uh, you are entangled as it gets wrapped up in you. And you may definitely want to try and escape. And let's see. 
And you, you, were you able to mark it on your sheet there that you were, or on your token? Okay, that you're entangled. Sweet. All right. Oh, all right. Excellent. It got marked. All right. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> that is their turn, which now brings us to Owen with the Ten of Clubs. Okay. So just to make sure I understand correctly, these things don't see me. They're unaware of me, and they're they're swooping in. They're diving and and attacking, um, and so then, but then one of them is is pretty in, you know, it's 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 wrestling with Amelia. Or, yes, I'm sorry, with uh, June. With June, it's wrapped itself up and yes. Well, um, hmm. Well, I've got the drop and I've got a shotgun at short range, so <laughs> I'm going to take a triple action. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I like the way you think. Uh, because I also have assassin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take one shot at each of the bats. I'll save the best for last with, with the one on Miss Campbell. All right. Um, but hopefully it's a little safer shot at the ones bobbing and weaving around Ben and Miss Sawyer. Nice. Uh, and these, of course, they're minus four, but because you got the drop, it's plus four, so it's uh, just a straight up roll, right? I think so. All right. All right. Um, all right. Let me see. Let me make sure I do this right. Uh, shooting buckshot. Is that correct? Did that come up? Okay. Here we go. Yep. This is for the first one. Ooh. Oof. That is going to be hit with a raise. Very nice. Okay. And I will get you an extra in. D6 there. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to add there's plus two for <laughs> Assassin and plus four for the drop. So that's a 36. Th for the damage? Yeah. So just just a measly thirty six points That's of damage. Thirty six. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what their toughness is. Uh, so well, it, uh, it's almost shaken. Not thirty six. <laughs> my goodness! Wow. Um, like the red mist just apart. Yeah. So what does it look like when this thing just just evaporates? What is it? What does it look like? I'm. You tell me if I'm wrong, but I, I think we just had the, the you know one of those exploding torso with buckshot moments as the thing uh, hits a, a puff of mist in the in the rain and then falls to the ground dead at Miss Sawyer's feet. Um, I like it. Oh wait, so you were shooting at you were shooting at um, the one that was on Amelia, right? The one oh, okay. on Amelia first. All right. Yep. Boom. That's gone. Okay. Okay, and next for the one on Mr. Ben. Um, not as, well, actually, it should be minus two. It should be a straight up roll. So I only got a three. I'm going to go ahead and spend a Benny on that. All right. And I have a lawn, so that'll add a plus two. Nice. Um, so it'll be whatever this displays. <laughs> my goodness it makes me wow. nervous using all my luck up right now <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is but, also uh, going to be hit with a raise I have to hit with a raise and then we'll go for buckshot with a raise oh and plus 6 so 19 19 and we have another uh, bucket of mist <laughs> as this one uh, disappears and that was when you were shooting that was on Ben is that right? correct okay Yes, and that one uh, that one goes away. And then, last but not least, the the trick shot. Let's see if I can save Miss Campbell. Um, or just shoot me. We'll see. Or just shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes that crit fail. Well, it says I don't have enough ammunition, but my my gun should have. Well, it is a shotgun, right? So it would be. Yeah, it's three shots. No, oh, it's isn't that normally two? Oh, it's a it's a it's a lever action uh, Remington with with a four plus Damn. one if you if you load. Um, 
So All right, can I don't you, know if there was can you can you go the can you then just hit reload for, and then have it uh, do that? Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll hit reload and do that. Um, okay. Yeah, it may have been down from whenever we were messing with it yesterday. That yeah, I think that's probably what it was. Yep. If you didn't reload at the beginning of the fight. Yep, I didn't reload at the beginning of the of the adventure. So a seven. So a seven will hit, uh, not with a raise. Hit. So I mean, unfortunately, you're just going to have to do regular damage this time. So slacker. plus six, right? I know yeah. it's slacker. <laughs> yeah, um, really, from the drop <laughs> and and uh, an assassin. So I only do fifteen this time. You only do fifteen, <laughs> which only. is 15. actually is a, a shaken in two wounds, which is more than enough to finish off this one as well. And so. Um, June is struggling with it, and June, you're, you're you're trying to get this thing free, and it's buffeting you with its wings. Then suddenly, its entire torso just disappears as the wings go slack and slide off of you. Uh, so, so, Chris, you said this was going to be a certain amount of rounds. You meant two, right? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. that one's going to take care of everything. Yeah, it's so, just literally, it's like we're done. The, the entire so adventure's over with. Owen right. comes yeah. out from behind the the. I guess that's the saloon. Right, and he's just boom, boom, and as he's walking forward to take his place right in front of uh, Miss Sawyer. Nice. Uh, and speaking everyone of, knows I'm squishy. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Miss Sawyer, you are next, and you can still see that there are some 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 things loping at you uh, down the, down the way. But it is your turn. Okay, so. Um, Vision wise, how far can we see with uh, Ben's lantern? I think it four gives you like four inches. The, yeah. Four inch radius. So basically, you have four, four hexes around you. Okay. So can't see the. Can't really see. Would have a vision penalty to shoot at the ones far away. Yes. You'd have the. For that, you would have. Yeah. You'd have a minus two. Okay. All right. I'm still going to shoot at them. Do you want to move first? Yeah, you can move because... Um... Well, Owen just went through all the trouble of standing in front of me. <laughs> I felt bad moving. All right, I'm going to move. I'll move. Um... Oh, great. <laughs> I'm trying to protect the person who doesn't even have any clue how to fight. <laughs> Out of the way. Hey, I know how to shoot. Uh, so I'm going to move to my... I'm not trying to get in your way that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move to my horse at this building. Okay. Um, and then actually I'm going to, can I light my lantern? While Sorry, you're I'm, tr I, I, I'm trying. So I have a lantern on my horse. I'm trying to figure out what, if it's worth it to light the lantern and then shoot, but that would be a minus four versus a minus two. So it's better to shoot in the dark, I think. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to shoot in the dark with the intention of maybe lighting a lantern someday. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> And that still doesn't work. Wow, you guys, this is great. Uh, <laughs> nine uh, with the with the minus two is going to make a seven, which is still going to hit. Okay. Wow. Jeez. I have to I have to show up off uh Owen's not the only one who can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 15 points of damage. Which one are you shooting at? The one nearest. The one nearest uh, this you? one here. This this uh, this guy right there. Yeah. Okay. Um so you see this massive wolf. As you get up closer, you realize it's just this large wolf, and it's got. It glowing... is a weird wolf. I it, knew it. It is, and it's got glowing red eyes, and it's snarling, and spit is just kind of coming from its mouth as it's charging you. And you take you take your gun, you level off your shot, and how do you kill it? What happens to it after it gets hit? Um, I think it's just like right in the eye socket. <laughs> And the bullet just explodes out the back of the brain and it falls over. Nice. And there, yeah, there's this big, just this spruce as it, uh, as it comes back out and it skids to the ground, you know, just a few feet away from you, but it is indeed dead and gone. All right. 
Um, and uh, now it's their turn. Okay, so you're pretty close. So Yeah, just... I'm so happy about this decision. I know, right? It's great. <laughs> so this one does indeed come running up. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm the one who suggested you move out there. So, I mean, <laughs> it's okay. I, I'm okay. I, ex I, I accept my, my death uh, the same as the lady in the church. <laughs> Sacrifice <laughs> needed to be made. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah. Um, why won't that guy move? Oops. No. All right. Looks like I had to do it the hard way. Oh, okay. There we go. Now I see what I was doing wrong. All right. Cool. And the other one runs right past and charges up. Um, while that, though, is happening, you guys thought things were going pretty good, but not necessarily as good as you thought. As you see, again, more things sweeping in from above. Let's so we'll put them right there. Uh, but this one can't get to anybody, but this one can get to you, though, Amelia. Okay. Um, or this combat's punching bag, I guess. But you did soak the damage, so. Yeah. So it comes charging up, and it leaps up over the horse, jaws leading the way. And your parry of a two is not quite enough <laughs> as it sinks its jaws into you, uh, and it bites you. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. For a total of, what is that, 8, 15 points of damage? Is that what I got there? Yep. So I think that was, again, a uh, shaking and two wounds coming at you. All right. I'm going to uh, spend a Benny to soak. Okay. I'll get one of them, that five. Uh, I don't know if I want to use my last Benny. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm. Uh, no, I'll take the one wound. I think that's... Yeah, that's, fine. Right. that's fair. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it just kind of grips into your shoulder and it flips, uh, kind of flips you over and around uh, as it, you know, goes and lands on its feet. Uh, and then that brings us to. Luckily, G though, I get a really good look at it because this is a cool, weird thing. You get a very good look at it and it is, uh, it's absolutely terrifying. Ah, ooh. It's got fillings. Oh, this actually, you know what? Hold on. It, yeah. June, <laughs> June, 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 June yeah. before, before you can, uh, before you do anything, this one is actually going to do something. Uh, Owen, you're the closest there. This one, it runs up and it looks at you and you make eye contact with it as you're bringing your, your gun to bear and it howls at you and you feel this overwhelming sense of fear uh, come at you and it's going to make an intimidation test against you, which I believe intimidation is resisted with spirit, I believe. Yes. Yeah. So roll me your spirit. I believe it is. Sorry. And beat a six. Fine. Beat a six. <laughs> I did what you told me to do. You did. Thank you for following the yep. GM's instructions. I greatly appreciate that. 100%. <laughs> so it does unleash this howl at you, but quite honestly, you've heard worse in the field of battle, and you are not, uh, you are not affected at all by this. Um, and you bring your gun up. Now it is June's turn. And I'm shaking. So... Spirit here, roll. And I'm fine. That'll work. You have unshook it. Uh, yep, and because, you know, he shot the creature off of me, I'm not entangled anymore. No, you definitely are not. Yeah, so I want to move. Let's see. How far does this go? I think that'll actually six. That'll put me in a good spot there. So the one that's on uh, Amelia there. Okay. I'm going to use my whip against it. Oh, cool. Try to pull it off of her. If All right. Do extra damage to it. So. And you get the gang up bonus because there's two of us and one of it. Yeah, very true. So, yeah. Uh, 
I'm doing it. Sorry. Will that hit? Uh, six total. A six will hit their parry. It just okay. hits them. Just a normal damage roll here. What's that? Oh, there we go. It's just a normal damage roll. Okay. Did you want to re-roll that damage? I think I'd rather re-roll the, the, the original shot, but... Oh, you re-roll re the hit? Yeah, it's too late for that. I should have done that earlier. So I'll let you re-roll the hit. I'm I'm a I'm a benevolent GM. I'm, I'm more than happy to <laughs> let... <laughs> okay. Let me do that. <laughs> No, you can't have fun in my game. This is just me telling a story. You guys all just get to listen. Concentrating. And oh, and I had a lawn, so I needed to add uh, another plus two to this. So that gets back right back to a six. <laughs> no better. No worries. Oh well. <laughs> it's still it, it just it's still no, it, it she just pulls out the whip and and it coils around the beast, but it doesn't actually budge the beast off her. No, yeah, it, uh, it in fact it, it almost seems like it's not even uh, realizing that you're there or doing anything. All right, it's focused on uh, Amelia's shoulder. Uh, okay, so that is so now I have to let's see this real. Oh, we have to reset it. Okay, all right, and then. Oh, here we go. That's that's how to do it. Roll all. So if I or shuffle all. Um, Owen, your card choices, and I'll get to what everybody else gets. Uh, either a king of spades or a four of diamonds. Uh, yeah, I'll go with the king of spades, sir. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> all right. So here we go. Um, Owen does indeed get the king of spades. The wolves get a king of diamonds. Amelia got a ten of diamonds. June got an eight of diamonds. Ben, a two of hearts, and the bats, a two of clubs. Uh, does anyone want to spend a penny to re-roll or to re redraw? Yes, I'll spend a penny. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't stand getting a two, can you? <laughs> Who does? I <laughs> so eventually. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, my gosh. Well done. Everybody uh, give, give a round of applause for Ben, because he drew the Black Joker. Ooh. Yay! So, yes. And I believe that, does that automatically uh, give everybody a Benny? Sure it does. does. <laughs> and a plus two to every action that I do and damage. Yes. And damage. Yeah. Plus two. Very nice. Okay, so technically Owen's first, unless Ben wants to jump in. So uh, I'm going to hold my action for right now. All right, so uh, Owen. Yeah, so uh, Owen is going to fire that last round out of his shotgun okay. and then reload. So um, that'll be a multi-action penalty, but the shotgun will negate the plus two from the shotgun should negate that. Okay. Um, and let me just go ahead. Roll this right here. Um, oh, that's not what I meant to do. And everybody did get the, the auto extra Benny, right? Yes. Uh, I didn't. I gave it to myself. Okay. I, I did I not. not. I did right. not either. Go ahead and do your thing. I'll give everybody else a Benny then. Um, maybe that was something else. Okay. So, Shannon, you're already, you're good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's see. Um, well, I hit shooting buckshot, but it didn't come up in the chat. Maybe I did this wrong. Was it not on public? Oh, there it goes. Oh, there we go. There we go. I used the the other button. Um, all right. And it is at a minus two because of the multi-action penalty. So it ends up with a straight roll. A seven. So that will hit. A seven will indeed hit. And then... Buckshot. Ooh, just eight. Just eight. All right. So it does indeed hit. Um, and let's see here. I've got to. Uh, 
I am not sure how to change its condition here. Because it is shaken. Um, nope, that's not it. It's just shaken. Oh, yeah. Derp. All right. There we go. All right. So now it's shaken. Okay. And then um, he is going to move up next to the women folk. Let's see if he can distract anything else from Miss Sawyer, who. <laughs> he's, he's really worrying about her. <laughs> that's fair. That is, she that's just has like fair. she just has like a bite out of her shoulder and it's just like seeping yeah. blood. Now, yeah, there's public, like a, yeah, I was gonna say public service announcement. When you're heading into the Deadlands, you can do it, but you need to be very conscious if you <laughs> take D4 vigor and and no no fighting skill. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> some people some people like to have fun that way. Yeah, absolutely, Shane, and I'm not Shane knocking laughs it, right? in the face of danger like this. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, it is now the wolves' turn. Unless Ben, you want to jump in. Uh, these are the wolves that are close to us right here. You are correct. Okay, I will now go to act. I'm going to go ahead and perform three actions. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, okay. I, I love how you guys all just ride the red line on these actions. This is Do it, do it, do it. Well, <laughs> well, well I, I, I don't suffer minus two of it, and I have a plus two bonus from the red joke, from the black joker. I mean, so, so yep. hey, <laughs> so what I would like to do is that I'm going to um, call two chi powers. Uh, the first one's going to be, uh, which one is this? Ah. And I will say this is, you know, this is a one-shot adventure. So, yes, you know, whatever whatever needs to happen, happens. <laughs> exactly. You have two hours of emotional investment in this character. I mean, you know, yeah, whatever, you know, <laughs> except for Jody. Jody, actually, this is actually Jody's PC. So she has a little bit uh, of more at risk. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably use this PC in other Deadland adventures, but yeah. yeah, I'm sure I'll use this PC again. Oh no, if you're dead, if you die here, you're dead. I die. It's <laughs> fine. This I is could be a Herod witch, though, which that'd be awesome. I'm treating all your characters Ooh. like Blackleaf. This is uh... okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm sorry, Ben. I, go ahead, man. <laughs> sorry about that, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Alan's like, you know, I'm just trying to have Ben do something, and we're all uh, sort of making jokes uh, about. All right. Death. All right. So, uh, cast. I'm going to cast one spell here. Come by. Uh, so, what ends up happening? I'm going to roll to increase my fighting. And that's supposed to have a plus two to it. Mm. Okay. My, my goodness. My my wow. fighting is now increased by to a D twelve, I believe. Wow. Yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to run up and strike this one, then move past and strike this one with my third action. Wow. All right. Cool. Okay. Go for it. So the first one. Let's go up. Yeah, and that one there is shaken, so this uh, this could be really good. Oh, it could You're be. Welcome. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, first one. I just winged it. Nice. All right, bam. Yep, and that is going to hit with a raise. That's going to hit with a raise. Okay, and this is the nunchaku. And oh my god! <laughs> wow! Good wow. gravy! <laughs> We're having great dandruff tonight. <laughs> With a plus two for the Joker. Oof. Twenty-two. So twenty-two points of damage. So what does it look like when you when you bring the 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 nunchucks down on this wolf? Okay, it comes from underneath the arm, up up, up under the chin, makes his head snap back, and it flips over and hits the ground and doesn't move. Wow. Yeah. Okay. The, All right. The next one. I mean, it's not 36 damage, but it's, it's okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I move to the next one and do a strike. Uh, 
<sighs> okay, that ends up being, it should be an eight. Uh, which will hit. Okay. And the plus two damage to this. So what a 14 points of damage. All right. And how does uh, this wolf skeleton uh, get turned into powder? Okay. Well, from behind, you see this stick crash into its head and its neck is snap and it falls over. <laughs> and yeah, and it and just it, it. It, and then it just drops off of your shoulder, Amelia, as it uh, lies there dead. Wow. So much yeah. better now. And, and then I and then I back up and turn around. I'm still holding the lantern. <laughs> <laughs> it's a streak of light. He did all that with one hand. Yeah. Jeez. Quiet, quiet. Quiet. Owen is impressed. <laughs> yes. So are the wolves, but they, they can't really say anything about it because they're they're dead. Um, so is Amelia. Yeah. <laughs> and I should be up here right next to uh, Amy right now. And it was going to be the wolves' turn, but it's not because uh, they're not on the board. Although, <laughs> I will say that you, you can hear um, the sound of more snapping and snarling and growling coming from deeper down the street. But we now go to Amelia. And Amelia, you can see two more of these bats. They are, um, uh, you know, they're, they're approaching your group, obviously through the rain, but it is your turn. Okay, I am going to shoot at the bats. All right. As you bring your gun up to look at the bat, okay. uh, I need you to make me a fear check. So roll, um, I forgot to do this last round, but I'm not gonna forget to do it this round. And uh, there might be a penalty on that. Let me check here. No, just a straight up spirit roll. Okay. Also one of my strong suits. Uh, strong enough. Yep. So yeah, it you, you get a good look at its face and it is rather terrifying, but you still keep that steel in your spine. So you may take your shot. Okay. And I am at the minus two for vision because it's further away. Correct. Than Ben's line. I'll actually remember to put it in instead of adding it at the end this time. Womp womp. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna Benny that. Okay. Yeah, two's not gonna quite cut it. Oh, whoops! I accidentally spent two bennies. I'll, I'll I'll give you that one back there. Bloop. There you go. Thanks. All right. I also I got a two a second time. So, <laughs> so despite the steel in your spine, it does not help with your aim as the shot goes wide. Uh, past it, it as it's bit my shooting arm, obviously. So. Clearly, that is exactly what happened. And then that brings us to June. Uh, June's going to get on her horse. Okay. Um, and uh, and then start to uh, actually let me just describe everything first. So, um, she's going to get onto her horse and then start to ride uh like a few paces away, um. You know, saying, "Come on, we need to go," uh, but then she's going to rein up so that she can face the other, uh, the incoming bats, um, and um, uh, she's going to cast a blind Ooh, so that they right. can, you know, hold them off. Nice. And the, the trapping on this one, well, <laughs> uh, it, we've had some rain, so she's going to hope that it looks a little bit more like a, a bolt of lightning or something like that. But it's it didn't come from the sky. It came from her. Oh, nice! <laughs> and it it definitely looks like a bright flare that comes out from her and arcs over your heads because she's now on the board. Okay, if, cool. If, if I get the spell off. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, was that a multi action or? Uh, no, getting up on your horse. I mean, that's kind of part of your movement, as far as I'm concerned. So. Okay. Uh, and let's see here. I have a range of eight, so I actually need to move closer to them. So, oh, yeah. Is that going to do? I'm doing it wrong. How do I draw the line? Uh, you got to click the little ruler um, thingy. The, uh, when you're on the token there, um, 
in the right hand column, the little thing that looks like a ruler, that'll that'll show you the distance. So, uh, large first template. How do I pull up one of those? Uh, the template is okay. So if you go, the templates are where are they? Um, I know they're here. I'd be on my character sheet. I can click it and see if it doesn't pull it up. No. No. Oh, here. So if you click the little the little um, right angle tool right below the. Uh, Right below the the token icon, the left hand column, second one down, that should give you a sub right sub menu on the right hand side, and then you can grab an L for large and then drop it um, wherever you'd like to. It made it at ten point four inches for some reason. <laughs> Let me get rid of that one somehow. Uh, if you click the little thing in the center that yeah. when, you, when you mouse over to make it orange you click it and then hit delete key and that'll that'll get rid of it I tried closing it. at least it should anyway oh uh, you can also click the clear templates at the bottom of the uh, right hand column there as well i must say this is a great map too this is a lot of fun yes yeah. Well done. I'm well not, done. Not clear it at all. Thank you. Um, you know what? The support people can do it. There, there you go. go. I got you. I got you. Over. So I can catch both of them. And uh, actually, I bet I could do it in a medium. Let me try that. Uh, let me see. You should be able to. Yeah, there's a medium first template. Yep, you can get them with a medium. Yeah, there you go. Right on. But that's a little bit cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, blind. Um, and I'm going to do it area effects. So that's an extra two points. And I want it strong for an extra one point. So, uh, the bigger roll to shake off the effect will be made at negative two. So, this is a total two, three, five points blind. That I'm doing. All right. <laughs> I'll spend a penny on that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. If you can be spending that much on the spell, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's a penny. Now I'm getting a plus two to it for a lawn. Oh. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. There oh, we go. Right. Yeah. Yikes. All right. 19. Yeah. Yes. So success with the raise. So what uh, does that does that increase their penalty to resist then as well? Uh, let me pull up the description real quick. So nice to have all the stuff right here. Um, yes. Uh, success means the victim suffers a minus two penalty to all actions requiring sight or minus four with a raise. Wow. So now okay. they are... Um, at minus four uh, to, to all actions requiring sight. And uh, they uh, will have a bigger role to shake off the effect at negative two. Uh, but but they don't get that make that bigger role until their next action. I mean, not the, the end of their following great. turn. So it affects them for one turn, and then at the end of the, the next turn, they, they right. get so 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 they're effectively blinded on this turn. Okay, so what is so you you cast this lightning and what does it what does it look like when this happens? I mean, she's basically doing something with her hands there, and she does force it out from her, and you see like this blinding light kind of arc out from her, and it kind of culminates in their area and then bursts out, um, and uh, and they seem to be momentarily paused by that as she's yelling, "Get your horses, let's go." <laughs> 
And yeah, they are for sure. They 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 kind of pull up um, and stop their their flight path, and you can see that they're they're struggling. And it's almost like they're screeching in random directions as they're trying to find uh, get their bearings. They're not sure exactly where they are um, at all. So their actions are basically consumed this round, trying to re get their bearings. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do um, this for the next round. So I'm gonna re-roll initiative, and let's see, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the bad guys out of initiative, and we're gonna switch now to a quick encounter. So let me yeah. re-roll everybody. Redraw it. <laughs> or re gosh dang it, sorry. See, it says roll, and then I just get that. No, name. yeah, in the interface it says roll, but you're yeah, it's, it's the it's the you know macro to draw cards. Oh, wait, reset initiative. That's what I got to do. Okay, now. Um, okay, and Owen, your choices again are a queen of spades or a five of spades. I, I'm going to go with the higher card most of the time, yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so Owen got a queen of spades, Amelia got an eight of hearts, Ben got a seven of hearts, and June got a five of clubs. So June yells out, uh, the instructions about getting on the horses and getting out of here. And you see these two bats pull up and they're screeching and flailing around. And you look down the street and you can see more of these creatures coming. There's more bats. There's more wolves. Definitely far too many to engage. So what I'm going to have you all do is we're going to do a quick encounter. Go ahead and pick a skill that you have and roll it and describe how you use that skill to help you get out of town uh, once you get, you know, get basically getting out of the city limits, uh, so to speak. And whether that's fighting and you fight your way through, or if it's riding and you ride your horse through, or stealth and you sneak out, whatever it is, it's up to you, but I want you to describe how it goes. You're gonna make your skill roll. If you fail, you're not necessarily going to die, um, but something will definitely happen to you, but you'll still get out. Uh, so Owen, you're first. Uh, and so, so my role just affects Owen. Your role just affects you, yes. Right, okay. So um, Owen is going to go ahead and use stealth. He's going to hop on, hops on his uh, his his mount, and then um, he's going to say, I, I, looks like it's time for us to get out of town. We've worn out our welcome. And he, he heads out, um, and he's going to roll stealth to make sure that uh, he's going to go winding through some of the back streets. Um, to try and lose the his pursuers. Excellent. All right. So go ahead and make me that stealth roll. And that is a seven. That is a success. So yeah, you indeed do just that. You you even have to cut back a few times and double back and go around. But as these creatures flood their way through, just like you know water running um, through, you know, like a little rat maze and filling all these nooks and crannies. These creatures make their way through heading towards the church, but you on your horse are able to circumvent them all and get out of town. And that brings us next to Amelia. I, so if I did something like notice to like spot a route, could I do that as a support or no? It's just me. No you, matter what. you could do it. You could do a notice for yourself. Yeah. To spot, to spot a route and get out. Absolutely. That makes okay. perfect sense to me. I mean, you're minus one cause you're wounded, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, five will do it. So yeah, you you see Ben, he kind of takes off, but you're also in your own panicked way. Um, I moved and, anywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I mean, uh, I mean Owen. Uh, so then, what does this look like then, Amelia? As you as you get out. Um, so I think it's you know kind of similar to Owen. I think she just kind of dives out. Uh, I mean, she on her horse. She dodges down a side alley and just kind of um, goes kind of behind the buildings or like out away from wherever anything might be. It just kind of yeah. picks the best route. If it, if it works out, Owen will try and, you know, motion for different paths that she might take as he's you, getting out ahead of her. Yeah. And you do. And even as that, as that's happening, like you start to go, cause you're just slightly behind Amelia and you start to go, but then that, 
that avenue gets cut off. And so you just wait long enough until you see another one open up and you charge your horse through there uh, and make your way out. Nice. Okay, now it's Ben's turn. Okay. I've noticed that uh, two of the people have departed and I still notice that the that the bear killer is still up and standing so I think it's time for me to go so I run blow uh, blow out the lantern after I get halfway and then continue uh, continue running uh, northeast and new all right what skill I mean are you good as stealth. oh with stealth okay with stealth. I don't you know if you're if you're running that almost sounds like it might be athletics I mean I'm, I'm cool with stealth Okay. All right. Uh, Cause my run would be D six uh, plus a roll of a D six. Uh, and then you multiply it by two. Right. No. Yeah. But no, I'm just saying like for his skills, okay. because as you're running away, you may have to like jump and leap over certain things. Okay. Um, cool with that. So yeah, give me, uh, give me an athletics roll. Uh, but I will give you, um, well, it's not going to matter. You're going to make it anyway. So nicely done. All right. Okay. Yeah, parkour. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so you indeed, you're, you're, you are, you're leaping in and over and under and through, and you actually spend some time dodging uh, some of these creatures as they try and get you, uh, but you are able to make your way out yes. uh, in that very cool martial artsy fashion. I like it. Right. Aspect of monkey. Yeah. Uh, and that brings us to June. Well, uh, I'm afraid that uh, he left that horse behind that is a Black River asset. So I'm <laughs> grabbing the reins <laughs> of that horse. <laughs> yeah, I was and, like, uh, oh, and I'm horse. going to do you know, like a damn uh, horse, anyways. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that damn horse belongs to Black River. <laughs> I got to get, get it out of here if I can. Uh, so yeah. I'm actually going to do fighting, um, and I plan on using my whip to kind of clear the path. Uh, before me, or if anybody's coming after me, um, not so much just to uh, to take them out, but just to keep them away. Cool. All right, like it. Uh, go ahead and roll that fighting. There we go. Six. So, what does that look like then? Uh, she's <laughs> got the reins of the horse behind her. She's right riding her horse and guiding, you know, it with her knees. And she's using the whip, cracking it in front of her and behind her as, as needed to kind of keep it, keep them away. Cool. And yeah, you drive, you drive through. Uh, and I just, I just got this vision. You have, you just with, with, you got two horses and the whip is just clear in the path. We have, well, you Ben is parkouring out through another way. And then you have Owen and Amelia just, just kind of sneaking and, and dodging here and there as you make your way. Uh, out of Shady Crags and back into the New Mexico desert and away uh, from the carnage in Reverend Alice. Nicely done, everybody. I'm going to give you all a Benny because uh, that was pretty dang cool. So let's do that. Okay. I'm always use a Benny. Uh, absolutely. And the rain continues, though, as you drive out into the desert, getting away from the town, and you slow down maybe after you're a couple of miles away to re-get your bearings. Man, I really wanted to meet Shady Craig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's C-R-A-G-S as, as opposed to C-R-A-I-G-S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shady Craig. Yeah. Shady Craig. He's kind of a shady individual anyway. Yeah. Where's Craig? 